Hey, how you doing? It's been a long, long time. Yes? Good to see you again then. You're looking good. Alrighty, so we're going to be testing your eyes today comprehensively. It's going to be a thorough exam. So, I know I've seen you before, but I need to take some details just to make sure that all the details that we have are up to date, okay? All right, so, your full name, please. Mm -hmm. And your date of birth. Wow, you look good. Okay, good. And your address, please. Perfect, perfect. And is there a contact email that's best to get you on? Mm -hmm. At dot com, yeah. Okay. And um, do you have a phone number that we can reach you on? The easiest phone number to get you on. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And is there an emergency contact? Uh, not to turn phase or anything, but just in case we need to get in touch with somebody. Yeah. Okay. And what's their relation to you? And their phone number, do you know? And uh, do they have an email address? Okay. Perfect, my friend. So. What we'll do to begin with, I'm just going to have a general look around your eyes. So I'm going to come in very, 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 very close. I hope you don't mind. Invade your personal space. And I'm just going to be having a look at the general state of your eyes. Perfect. Okay, can you close your eyes for me just so I can have a look at the integrity of your eyelids? Mm -hmm. ah. Perfect, perfect. Good, 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 good. All right. Can you look up for me? I'm just going to have a look at your bottom lids and see if there's any obvious signs of blepharitis or mybobian gland dysfunction. We'll have a closer look at those a little bit later on. Let me just get you to look down for me, please. I'm just going to lift up your lids. Oh. Mm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, 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 good. Okay, good. Now keep your eyes closed for me. That's good. If you can hear some snoring, that's my lab assistant, Mickey Rourke. Now, Mickey Rourke is a chihuahua. And he's getting on now. He's an old man for a, a chihuahua. He's 12 years old. Uh, but being a chihuahua didn't stop him from becoming a lab assistant, which I think is a can-do attitude that you can all adopt. Keep those eyes close for me, please. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Okay. If you can look to your right-hand side for me, And 
if you can look for me to your left hand side somewhere up here. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna come in very, very, very close. I hope you don't mind. Mm. Okay, good. Now if you adopt primary gaze again, if you can look straight ahead for me and Perfect. Good. Keep looking just over my shoulder and if you choose a light, any light, and again, it's going to come in very, very close. Okay. Okay. Now, if you can close your eyes again for me. Gonna be having a look with this very, 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 very bright light. Now, with your eyes close for me, if you can look down as if you're looking into your life. And now, uh, you can open your eyes now, okay? And if you can look up to the ceiling for me, please. Perfect. Okay, now, close your eyes again for me and take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Perfect. Good. Going to do that again. Keep your eyes close to me. Um, and deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And again, in through the nose. That is great, my friend. Good. Alrighty. You can keep your eyes open for me. Let's go and have a look along your brow line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to touch along each of your brows. Now, tell me if at any stage uh, you experience any pain or discomfort. I know we know each other quite well and you wouldn't hesitate <laughs> to tell me usually. But just in case you're being polite, tell me if there's any pain at all that you can feel or discomfort of any kind. Perfect. Good. Okay. Perfect, my friend. You're doing very, very well. Alrighty, now I'm just going to have a feel around the orbital rim. There's a bony, if you feel, let me just give you a hand. If you feel just along here where your eye socket is, that's the orbital rim. Now I'm going to be checking to see 
if there's any um, breaks or steps or splintering of the bone that we need to be worried about or any irregularities of any kind. And again, it's really, really important. Um, you don't need to hold your breath or anything. You can breathe quite freely. But tell me if there's any discomfort, okay? Any pain or discomfort as I just press my thumbs very, very, very lightly around the orbital rim of your eyes. It's going to press along the bridge of your nose. Just here. Good. Mm -hmm. Perfect, 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 perfect. And again, keep looking straight ahead. I'm going to do exactly the same, but this time I'm going to be having a closer look with this very trusty magnifier that I have. So do your right eye orbital rim first. And you may, if you're lucky, looking through the magnifier, get a close-up of my rather magnificent ugly mug. It's kind of a bonus. Perfect. Good, and let's just do your other eye, and we're just feeling just along the orbital rim, just to see if there's any issues that we need to be concerned with. close for me. I'm going to be using a slightly different light, so keep those eyes closed. I'm just going to be having a good, 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 good look. Mm -hmm. Breathe in for me and out. And again, breathe in for me through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay. In through the nose and out through the mouth. this bad boy on and we're going to have an even closer in-depth look at your eyes. So let's just get this guy. So I'm going to come very very close and just have a look see. So again, let's relax, relax. Perfect. Okay, that, my friend, 
is exemplary. Alrighty, now I'm going to get you to cover your eyes, close your eyes, and when you open them, I want you to focus on my nose. Okay, good. And again, focus on my nose. Good. good, good, good. And again, focus on my nose. Perfect. Focus on my nose. Mm -hmm. And once more, focus on my nose. Perfect. Well done, my friend. Now, we're going to do the same again, but this time we have a light, and it may be in different positions, but when I uncover your eyes, I would like you to focus on the light. Okay? Capiche? Excellent. Good. Okay. So, here we go. Cover your eyes. And three, two, one. One. Focus. Mm-hmm. Good. Good, good, good. Cover your eyes. And three, two, one. Focus. Mm-hmm. Perfect, perfect. Cover. And three, two, one. Focus. Mm-hmm. Good. Cover your eyes. And. Three, two, one. Focus. Mm -hmm. You're too good at this. Okay, cover your eyes. Three, two, one. And focus. Mm -hmm. Cover. And three, two, one. Focus. Wow, you have done this before, I'm sure. Cover, three, two, one, and focus. Cover, three, two, one, and focus. Excellent, my friend, that's great. Let me just get down all the results that we've got so far. You're doing very well. Okay, so we're just going to check your pupils now. I'm going to check your pupil response to light stimuli. Now, not only does this check whether your pupils constrict and dilate properly, but whether they do so in tandem. If there's a difference between the two eyes, then it often means there's a problem higher up between the eyes and the brain. So we're just going to uh, do the swing test to begin with. So I'm going to just swing the light from side to side. Now, it works best if you can put your hand up like that between your two eyes. Good. That's great, my friend. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, that is good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Good, good, good. Okay, keep your... That's it, you're doing very, very well. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Absolute perfection. Okay, now, next I'm going to check um, that your pupils respond to the light in a consensual and direct fashion. So, assume the primary gaze, if you look straight at me, and I'm just going to be shining this in your eye, your eyes, rather. Consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual. Good, you're doing very well. Consensual, direct. Consensual, direct. Consensual, direct. Consensual, direct. Consensual, direct. Perfect. Consensual, direct. I'm going to come in closer just so I can have a good, 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 good. close up look at how your pupils are reacting.
consensual, direct. Okay, let's have a break just for a second. If you can look at me, and if you can blink, blink, blink. Okay, and blink quickly like this, like that, and blink slow, blink. You're flirting like this. Yeah, good. Okay. Now, take a deep breath in. And out through your mouth. Perfect. Okay. Let's just have a look at those pupils again. I'm gonna come in very, very, very close. So consensual. Direct. Consensual. Direct. Consensual. just to be absolutely belt and braces. Um, keep looking past my shoulder and consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual. Just shine a light. Look at me. Look at me in the apples. Just here. And I'm going to shine this from the side. And what happens is it casts a shadow on the inner part of your eyes. And that tells me that your anterior chamber angles are wide open. If they were shut, you'd have some problems with glaucoma or the possibility of glaucoma, closed angle glaucoma, which is the nasty, nasty type. Mm. Okay, good, keep looking in my apples. Perfect. Perfect. Good, 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 good. That, my friend, is Exemplary, you are doing so well, and I'm so very proud of you. Okay, now next up on the agenda is we are going to check your vision and what you can actually see through those beautiful eyes of yours. Now, I have here a Snellen Lesser Charles, and I'm going to get you to read it. Do you wear contacts or um, glasses? No, okay, good. All right, so I want you to have yourself a look at the letter, John. I'd like you to read the very top line of letters for you, if you would. Mm-hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. And next line down. You can see that row of lessons there. If you start from this end and work your way to this end here, you can do that for me. I'll stand back a little bit, make it a little bit harder for you because you're very good. Alrighty, can you read the, oops, 
Can you read the next line down for me, please? Mm -hmm. You sure? Would you like another go? Okay, good. How about the next line down? Can you read that for me? Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, 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 good. And the line just above the red line. Can you read that for me, please? Three dice. I'll bring it a little bit closer because it's very, very small. So, have a read of that letter. Those letters there, just above the red line. Mm -hmm. Perfection. Okay, so what I'm going to do, get you to do next. You see the. Oops. Can you see this letter here? Can you tell me what it is? Okay, good. Now, I want you to keep looking at that letter for me. I have some lenses, this twirly thing here, and I want you to tell me if it's clearer with lens one or lens two. Let's show you again. Uh, it's lens one and lens two. Perfect, perfect. And lens one or lens two. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's try the uh, both eyes individually. So if I get you to, no peeking, if I get you to hold your hand up in front of your mirror image eye like that, good. All right, keep looking at that same letter and clear it with or without. Clear it with one or two. One or two. One or two. One or two. And with or without. Mm -hmm. With or without. Good. With or without. Uh huh. Closer and with or without. My friend, that is 2020 vision. That is excellent. You're very, very good at this. Okay, so I'm just going to get down everything that we've gotten so far. You've done very, very well. I'm very, very proud of you. So I'm just going to pop down all the details. So, how are you doing these days anyway? You doing okay? Yeah? Good. So good to see you again. I'm not kidding. It's really good to see you. I've got to tell you this. I was out on a date the other week, and uh, I said to the girl, I said, um, I'll take you out for dinner. I said, we'll, we'll go for a Chinese meal. And she said, no, no, no. She said, um, I had Chinese for lunch. Uh, kind of Chinese for dinner. She said, that'd be having a Chinese back to back. Who does that? I said, people who live in China, pretty much every day. There's billions of those guys. Not a relationship that lasted very long. Okay, so if you can look at my nose, please, and tell me when the light enters your field of view. But you must keep looking at the tip of my nose just here. And tell me when the light comes in. To your field of view. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, 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 good. Okay, just say yes or raise your hand or whoa, get a lo load of that light. Anything in the affirmative to let me know that you've seen the light. Mm hmm. Good. Keep looking just here, just at the at my nose. Perfect. Good. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 That, my friend, is brilliant. And we're going to 
and have a listen to um, your eyes. Now, it sounds weird because usually you use a stethoscope to listen to somebody's heart. And your heart is very healthy. But also, if we put it up against your eyelids, we can tell whether there's any vascular uh, problems at the at the back of the eye. We're looking for a something called a brue or any vascular uh, problems. So let's just get you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And I'm going to pop this on your left eye. And I'm just going to have a listen for a second or two. See if there's any weird goings on. Whether your rods and cones are having a party. No, perfectly healthy. That's good. All right, keep those eyes close for me. And I'm going to come in very, 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 very close. I hope you don't mind. And I'm just going to be placing this on your eyelid and listening for any vascular abnormalities. Okay, good. Yeah, all present and correct. Well done, you. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Now, we're going to do something called depth perception. Let's just get these sorted out fast. Now, I'm going to perceive how deep you are as a personality. This isn't your usual optometric um, depth perception test. I'm going to be asking you some questions and depending on the answers you give me, uh, it tells me how deep um, a person you are. Okay, so close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed and give me an honest answer, okay? Alrighty, first question is, do you believe in karma? believe in karma. Okay, good. That's interesting. Okay, good. Keep those eyes closed. If 55 is 55 and 44 is 44, why isn't 11 one Can you tell me? question to check your depth. Um, if a tree falls in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, would you hit the like and subscribe button? You tell me. Yeah. Good. Good. It's about time. All right. That's fine. Okay, that's your personality, depth perception. I perceive you to be a very deep human being. So we'll do the optometric depth perception. Um, I'm going to get two lights. And simply, I want you to look at me and tell me which night light is further away. Okay, good. And how about now? Can you tell me? Okay, and now. And now. And now. Okay, good. And now. Yeah, they're getting progressively closer and closer. So tell me which is closer and which is further away. Can you tell me? Mm hmm. And now. And now. And now. And now. And now. And now, and now, and now, and now, that is perfect, my friend, that's great, you scored a million percent on that. So, um, we're going to do the same, but this time, simply with fingers, so, get the hair out of my eyes, and keep looking at me, and tell me which finger is 
furthest away. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And now, you tell me which finger is furthest away. And now. Okay, good. And now. And now. And now. And now. And now. Good. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? You sure? <laughs> and which one? Wow, brilliant. That's great, my friend. Good for you. Alrighty, so I'm going to check the motility of your eyes. Now, motility is simply, it's like mobility. It's uh, checking that your eyes move in the correct way. And your eyes, are, uh, your eye muscles are moving. Your, your eyes are in sync. So let's check you out. So if I get you first of all to look at my nose. Okay, good. Now, if you can look at the light for me, I'm going to stand back because it's very, very bright. And simply, in fact, let's use a, a different light. Okay, good. Let's use this um, purpley light. And I'm going to get you to keep your head still in the primary position. And if you simply follow the light with your eyes, not with your head, <laughs> keep your head still just with your eyes. If you can follow the light for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good. Good. Mm. Yeah. Uh huh. You just keep following the light. Now I'm going to move back just a little bit. And oops. there you go. Keep looking. Simply looking at the light for me, please. Mm hmm. Now, during the course of this test, I want you to tell me if the light at any stage goes dull. Now, usually if there's a binocular problem or an imbalance, it's at the extremities of your gaze. So for instance, if you were to look right up here and the light went double, and that would be at the extreme um, upper right hand part of your visual field. And also tell me if there's any discomfort or whether it gets painful to follow the light. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. You are doing magnificently well. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to get you to look down, because in downward gaze, with your eyes, eyelids shut like this, I can't see your eyes. So, I'm going to lift your lids up like this. Okay. There you go. And keep looking at the light for me. Just follow the light. Perfect, 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 perfect. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. That's great, my friend. Okay, good. And blink. Blink. Blink again. Okay, blink fast. Like this. Blink slow. do some convergence tests. Now, when you come to read or look at anything up close, what happens is that your eyes turn down and turn in. So we just need to check that those muscles are working correctly. So 
I have here a purple light and uh, it's your job to just simply look at the light uh, the closer it comes to you. When it breaks into two, let me know. Okay, so here we go. Now with any luck, we'll be able to get right up to your nose. Okay, good, let's try that again. Okay, keep looking at the light. Keep So I would need you to look into this eye here for me. Good, 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 good. And now look across into my other eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty, and I'm going to keep looking behind me and I'm just going to check the outer. some glasses to fit you like a glove. I'm going to take the measurement from your brow down to the lower orbital rim. Okay, and again, brow to the lower orbital rim. And if you turn your head, see looking somewhere over there, just see what the
That, my friend, is exam pre well done. All right, now we'll just complete the field of vision exam. We've already done the, when the light comes in your field of view. That was very, very good. But just to be absolutely belt and braces about things, I'm gonna get you to look at my nose just here. I'm gonna hold up my two hands like this. Now, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because my gloves are black and so is the background, but do your best, okay? Now, I want you to Look at me, look at the nose, and tell me, how many fingers? Mm -hmm. And now, how many fingers? Uh -huh. good, 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 good. And, good, and how many fingers? Okay, good. And, how many fingers? Perfect, perfect. How many fingers? Mm -hmm. And, how many fingers? Good, and. And now. Yeah, that's perfect. Well done, you. Okay, so we will move on to color vision. Now, I have some sheets of colored paper. I want you to point to the pink paper for me. Okay, good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And can you point to the purple paper? Can you do that? Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. And can you point? The red paper. Yes. Mm -hmm. And point to the blue. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You're very good at this. Very impressive. It's as if you've done it before. And can you point to the orange paper, please? Point to the orange paper. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, can you point to the green paper, please? Yeah, excellent, good for you. All right, now we're gonna check the integrity of your optic nerve, check that it's working, okay. I'm gonna do something called a red desaturation uh, test. Now, if you look at me, if you look into my two eyes here, I have a red pen, or as my friends in South Africa would say, a red pin. Now I'm gonna move it across your vision like that. Keep looking. Okay. Now, what I want you to tell me is if the red is any darker or brighter between the two eyes. So, have a good look. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there any difference between the two eyes of the red bean? Okay, good. Let's try that again. And you look at the cap this time and tell me any change between the two eyes and the brightness of the red on the red band. Yeah, that's great. Good for you. Okay, now I'm going to do the same again. But this time uh, it's called a brightness desaturation test. Now let me just find the right pen or pen, pen torch, pen light. We're going to do the same again, and you're going to tell me if there's any difference in the brightness as it goes across your eyes. Okay? You do that. All right, so look at me. Look at my eyes. I'm just going to sweep the light across. Okay, good. Let's do it again. And once more for luck. And tell me there's any difference in the brightness between the two eyes. Is it darker in one eye compared to the other? Or the same amount of brightness? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Any change between the two. No, that's perfect. Okay, now I want you to close your eyes for me. Keep those eyes closed. And 
to sweep the light across your eyes and you tell me when the light sweeps across, okay? So, three, two, and one. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Clubs and spades are black, and hearts and diamonds are red. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So, I'll just show you this card, and can you tell me is that a red or a black? Mm-hmm. Bonus points if you can tell me if it's a king or queen. Okay. Good. And now, can you tell me. Let's just change that. Good. Okay. And how about this one here? Can you tell me? Red or black? Mm -hmm. You are very good at this. And oops. Red or black? Can you tell me? This isn't focusing properly. Is there? there you go. Red or black? Mm -hmm. good, 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 good. And red or black? Perfect them all and red or black. Mm. Good. Red or black, can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. Last one and tell me red or black. That, my friend, is exemplary. Nothing wrong with your. Alrighty, now for this next test, I'm just going to turn down the lights a little, so I've made it very moody and dark. Now, I have here a tunnel, and all I need you to do is to tell me there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Now, this isn't a life advice or anything, but all I need you to do is to tell me if the light is travelling in a clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. You tell me. Clockwise or anti-clockwise. Good, okay. Blink. 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 Excellent, okay. Now, this time, again, tell me. Is the light traveling clockwise or anti-clockwise? Clockwise or anti clockwise? Clockwise or anti clockwise? Mm -hmm. That is perfect. Okay, good. Now I'm going to do the tunnel again, but I'm going to do a slightly, oops, different uh, test. All you need to do is to tell me when the light sweeps across, okay? So, I'll count you down. Three, two, one, and we begin. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh-huh. 
Okay. ceiling. Mm -hmm. Down to the floor. And look straight ahead again for me, please. Okay, good. And look to your left. And to your right. And if you can look right into my light. Present and correct. That's great. So let me just check your pressures now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check the pressure of the fluid within your eyes. Um, we can use two things. We can use um, what's called a pulse air tonometer, which is this little guy here, and it um, excuse me, it blows a, a puff of air on each eye, it gives me a reading directly. Um, but we're going to go old school as well. It's surprising how you can feel how sensitive the thumbs are uh, in feeling the pressure between the two eyes. So I'm going to lightly press um, against your, your eyes. So if you close your eyes for me, and I'm just going to press against both eyes and see if there's any difference in pressure. Because if we do, if one's as hard as a rock, and the other one isn't. Um, it's a sign of perhaps a retrobulbar hemorrhage or something not very nice going on. But those two are perfect. Okay, so let's just do the NCT. Now don't worry, it's not gonna hurt. It's just a puff fair. Don't be a baby. So if you can look straight ahead for me, and now if you can look down the nozzle of this air gun that I'm going to shoot you with, and there you go, that's one reading. Okay, let's do that again because you blinked, which was very impolite of you, so let's just do that again. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good, 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 good. Okay, good, and mm -hmm. all right, we'll just do that once more for luck. Yeah, perfect, 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 that's great. Okay, so next on the agenda is to check the um, integrity of the cornea. Now for that, I'm going to have to pop some drops in your eyes. Now, this is fluorescein, and when I run an ultraviolet, not an ultraviolet, if I run a blue light across your eyes with the fluorescein, it shows up any stains, any lumps, bumps or scratches that we need to be worried about. So if you can look up for me. And that's the one. And let's do the other eye. That's the two. Perfect, perfect. And I'm just going to grab my purple light and we're just going to be shining this across your eyes. OK. 
Okay, if you blink for me. And blink again. Blink again. Yeah, perfect. Alrighty, now we're going to check your uh, facial strength, which is a very, very important part of the, um, the eye exam. So I want you to look at me, and I want you to raise your eyebrows like this. Okay, if you can frown like that. Okay, perfect, good. Now, if you can look surprised, um, say, for instance, you live in the UK, you get up one morning and it's not raining. So, can you get, get like this? Can you go? Yeah, okay, perfect. Keep that. Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, perfect, perfect. Okay, now, if you can um, clench your teeth, I right have nice and hard. Okay, now, do your jaws feel aligned? Yeah, and is there any pain or discomfort as you, as you bite down? Good. Perfect. Okay, you can stop biting that. That's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my gloved hand in your mouth and I'm going to see if there's any give in your upper set of teeth because if there is, then it, it may mean that you've got a problem going on in the maxillary region. So if you open big and I'm just going to pop my hand inside and see if there's any, any give. Mm-hmm. No. No, you're good to go. Okay. So, my friend, you have passed. Let me just check what you've passed with. I've got a feeling that this is a world record. Let's just put your results in the computer and we'll see what comes up. You scored a thousand million percent which is slightly above average. Well, thank you. It was so good to see you again. I'm so glad you came in today. It's been too long. So hopefully it won't be as long before I see you again next time. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. See you again. Bye-bye.